Welcome to Tutorials Point. When the client sends an HTTP request message to the server, the server processes that message and it replies back an HTTP response back to the client. In this video tutorial, we will see how we can go ahead and analyze the HTTP response message that is sent out by the server. So HTTP response, as I said, is a message from the server to the client. And for every request, there will be a response, even if there is no content. So this is a typical HTTP response. And again, HTTP 1.1 indicates that HTTP specification. It returns with a 200 OK, which is the HTTP status code, which is over here. And we will see more about the status codes in the next video tutorials. The content type indicates the type of content within the message body, which is this. So this is the message body that the client has requested and the server has processed that message and it has replied back with the message body. And the content type basically indicates what is the type of content. So that will be easier for the client to process it. So this content type can be anything like application slash JSON or application slash XML and so on. So the content length, the third one, basically indicates the number of characters within your message, which is 31 over here. And the last line, JSON, is the message that has been received from the server to the client, which is this one. So this is the JSON string that has been received by the client. We can also see the request and response in the Fiddler tool, which we will be using in this particular video tutorial. And if you want, you can also see that within the Chrome debugging tools, when you press F12, you can go ahead to network tab and see the request and response that is being exchanged between the client and the server. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.